Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fifth grade concept of generating additive and multiplicative patterns. This is standard 5.4c in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 16 off the 2016 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have four different tables to choose from, and we have a simple equation. y equals 0.1x, or 0.1 times x. So we need to figure out what this actually means here. So we've got 0.1x, and that x is actually an unknown. It's a variable. It stands for these x's that we see in the left-hand column. But there's no operation shown there. So step one, when you have no operation that is seen when you see a letter next to a number, or sometimes we'll see numbers next to parentheses. What we need to do is we need to think multiply. And that's really what we're going to be doing here. And that's a lot of what we do in fifth grade, sixth grade, seventh grade is so much multiplication. I guess someone at some point thought it was okay to just stop writing the X or stop writing that little dot because really x can sometimes mean a variable and dot is, some, is sometimes used as a decimal, so it's kind of confusing. So we just kind of eliminate the symbol for multiplication, and this means 0 0.1 times x. So let's see what happens if, take a look at my x's. On every single one of these, I've got 5. So let's start with that. Let's say y equals 0 0.1. I'm going to substitute that 5 in to that x. Obviously my y's are different here. I've got 50, I've got 5 tenths, 5 and 1 tenths, I've got another 5 tenths, so g and j at least have the same option there. So what is 0 0.1 times 5? Well, we could multiply like this. Let me show you two different ways to do this. First we can multiply like this. We can say 5 times 0 0.1. Right? We could just do a little bit of a multiplication like this. and We're really just going to kind of end up dropping that 0, but it's really 5 times 1, which is 5. And we don't really need these zeros here on this second row, but we could if we want to, and we're still going to end up with 5. Now, what do we do with this decimal? What we do with the decimal is we don't really worry about it when we're multiplying, but we worry about it when we're done multiplying, and we look how many, des how many digits are behind the decimal in the factors. I don't have any digits behind the decimal, in my first factor, but in my second factor, I've got one digit behind the decimal, which means I need to bring this in one spot. So my answer is going to be 0 0.5. So y equals 0 0.5. Now, there's an easier way to think of this. If we do 5 times 10, well, we know that's going to be 50. But really what we're doing is when we multiply by 10, we take our decimal, which is right there at, after the ones place, and we move it over how many zeros we have. We move it over one spot, and that's going to be 50. Well, did you know that when you multiply by one-tenth, now this only works with like 10 and one-tenth, one-hundredth and one-hundred, when that one is right there, well, we do the same thing. Instead of moving the decimal to the right, since this is one-tenth, this is one decimal placed over, we're going to take our decimal, and we're going to move it over once to the left, and we're going to get our 0 0.5. So either way, we get our 0 0.5, which means f is no good, h is no good. f multiplied by 10 and h just added the 2. So let's look at our next option is going to be 10. So let's say y equals 0 0.1 and let's substitute that x for 10. Now there's a few different ways we could do this. Instead of doing this old multiplication way right here, let's try this trick that we learned right here. So I'm going to take my 10 and if I were to multiply by 10, I'd move my decimal once to the right. But if I'm multiplying by 1 tenth, I get to move my decimal once to the left. And look what I get. It goes right there. So that really is just 1. 1.0. 1 but we're going to drop the point zero. It's just 1. And as you can see, that's looking good there for G. Oh, it's not looking good for J. So yeah, we can take this 15. Look, at we multiply by 1 tenth, we get 1.5. Multiply that 20 by 1 tenth, we get 2.0. My answer is G.